When we have cancer, it scares the daylights out of us. And the first thing that comes to mind is, how are we going to get rid of this? I'll do what it takes to get rid of the cancer. Just save my life, please. And so we do the mainstream treatments most of the time, which are chemotherapy, radiation, and surgery. And some of the time, it does a lot of good. When we're looking at stage four cancers, it doesn't. We're looking at maybe a two or two and a half percent uh, survival rate uh, using uh, treatment for stage four cancer. Earlier cancer is a different story. But we're pretty much willing to go along with what the mainstream treatments are because we have trust in our doctors. In fact, a better way to say it is we have fear that if we don't follow what our doctors say, that we're certainly going to die from our cancer. And the complementary and alternative therapies that are out there, which are, by the way, illegal in the state of California, because it's even a felony, okay, if you use any treatment other than cancer radiation uh, or uh, chemotherapy, or surgery, chemotherapy, and, and radiation. So what we have here is an approach that's pretty straightforward and we do what our doctors tell us most of the time what we're finding in an interesting study that was published in the journal cancer in april of 2012 is that more than 60 percent of breast cancer patients report they have at least one significant symptoms that stays as a complication even after six years and about 30 percent of these people have two symptoms or more so we're talking about symptoms like lymphedema, the big swelling of the arm after lymph nodes have been removed from the axilla, skin reactions from radiation that can be a real problem, upper body limitations, surgical pain, uh, weight gain, uh, fatigue is a big one. Uh, an awful lot of people who have, uh, have been treated for cancer have fatigue. And they didn't mention in this article, but another complication is peripheral neuropathy. I know this is important because Presently, I am doing a study uh, at University of California that's been funded by the National Institutes of Health that looks at how you can treat these, post, uh, these peripheral neuropathies that occur from chemotherapy. So those are the symptoms that occur. Now, in this particular article, what the authors were suggesting is that what we should do is give these people physical therapy and exercise in order to treat some of these side effects that they have, particularly the fatigue. And yes, that's a good start, but is that where you want to really leave this? Don't you think there are other things that can be done in addition when someone has gone through the post-traumatic stress of having a cancer and the surgery and then these complications on top of it? What about support groups and emotional support just from uh, somebody who's a psychologist or a psychotherapist? Uh, there are a lot of preventive approaches that should be also discussed with patients as soon as they have had a cancer and they've had their treatment to prevent cancer from coming back. There are a lot of things that are important in lifestyle. We want to change the pH of the body to make sure it's alkaline. We want to support the immune system. We want to support the digestive tract because it's so important in immunity. A lot of these things are important. So we need to look at these uh, people who are having breast cancer and, and treated for it and do what we can to, to support this. There was a study on 100 patients who had surgery after cancer and what they and this wasn't just for breast cancer and they found that almost everybody had fatigue after cancer but if they put them in an exercise program at three months there was about a 25 percent decrease in the number of people who had this profound fatigue so when we're looking at the treatment of cancer we need to be looking at the long-term effects of it as well and we should be doing things that are proactive and not done in some kind of fragmented way where the oncologist does the chemotherapy and the surgeon does this, the surgery and the radiologist does the, the uh, radiation oncology. Our private medical doctors should be looking and quarterbacking our patients through these situations so that if they are having complications, we do the best we can to treat them so that they can get back to living a more normal lifestyle.